How can justice be restored? Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Since the whole world, every individual person has sin in his or her life, everybody who was living in former times or is living in current times or will live in future, nobody is perfect, everybody has wrongdoing, and trespassing and since God on the other hand is just and cannot tolerate any injustice so how can anybody be saved that is only possible by a proper sacrifice that God accepts and that proper sacrifice is Jesus who as the son of God he was, who was without any sin Yet he loaded upon himself all wrongdoing and guilt of all people of all times. He took all sins to the cross, suffered for us and died, and by that way opened the gates to salvation for all who trust in him. The prophets had seen that in earlier times that he would load upon himself all sin of the world. So it looked as if he has the sin. For example, the prophet Isaiah, he writes about it. But it was the sin of the people, as Jesus sacrificed himself for them. So during his mission on earth, Jesus had to leave the heavenly glory of God. Due to our sin, he had to be abandoned from God for a while, until his rising. Praise the Lord for such great love, immense grace, endless compassion, far beyond our understanding. Thus he has restored justice, so God does not need to condemn us if we keep our trust in him, if we keep our faith in him. First, Peter chapter 2, verses 24 to 25, Christ himself carried our sins in his body to the cross, so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. It is by his wounds that you have been healed. You were like sheep that had lost their way, but now you have been brought back to follow the shepherd and keeper of your souls. Lord, we thank you for that amazing gift, for such great love, such amazing mercy. Thank you for your sacrifice. We are sorry for all that we do wrong. We are sorry for all where every day we put other priorities and yeah, give priority to other things in our life. Look at this and that and want to have this and that. But you have won the greatest thing of all. Thank you for your great news. And thank you for your sacrifice. Help us to keep that in mind. And help us to live accordingly. Thank you for your grace and for your mercy. Help all to discover this great news and to understand it and be with them as well. And we pray that you may guide us and help us to remain understanding what is important and what we are and what you are. Help us to look up to you every day and guide us through this life towards your eternal kingdom where we praise your holy name forever. Amen.